are on the most incredible romantic cruise heading towards the Rhine and Moselle rivers. And with an ever-changing landscape like this of riverside castles and fairy tale villages and stories that date back to Roman times, you would think it couldn't get any better. But it does, because we are heading towards the vineyards. Proceed. <laughs> My handsome hubby Muzz and I are cruising from Amsterdam to Basel on the luxurious scenic Jasper. This is Cockham, said to be one of the prettiest towns in the Moselle and it is easy to see why. Gorgeous German homes line the banks of the river, overseen by a fabulous castle high on the hill. Something straight out of a fairy tale. You'd be hard-pressed to find a more picturesque town. Surrounded by hills, climbing vineyards and a quaint village seemingly stuck in time, Cockham is a showstopper. And the piece de resistance is the town's most iconic feature, Reichsburg Castle. This is the dining hall of the castle. Wow. This is like mum's wallpaper muzz in our and old house. Yes. No. No? <laughs> <laughs> it's now wallpaper. It's all hand painted with ornaments. A little bit of gold leaf on it. And in the whole castle, there is no wallpaper. Everything hand painted. That's incredible. There are 10 rooms to explore, including the hunting room and a special room for knights. With Handel's water music, we entered, it, entered into the Knights Hall. Oh, I like largest it. Largest room in the castle. So did they have dancers in here? Yeah, I think so. One of the highlights of the castle has to be its sensational views of the Moselle River and the gravity-defying vineyards. So Andy, what is it about the Moselle region that makes it such a great place for Rieslings? You've seen the steep sloped hills? Mm. Yeah. Mm. It sounds crazy, but this is <laughs> the answer. Mainly the microclimate, which is extremely influenced by the slate, which heats up and gives the warmth to the valley, um, to position the face south, southwest, the wine, and this makes it perfect to grow white wine and to give it a long, long ripe, ripening. Well, I'm <laughs> hanging off every word you say, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and I'm kind of waiting Let's to try. <laughs> And it's good, isn't it? I'll have a flagon. <laughs> <laughs> Back on board, Scenic Jasper's open bar is yours to enjoy while you fantasise about life in one of the 40 or so passing castles and forts along the Rhine Gorge. <laughs> this is beautiful Heidelberg, surrounded by forests and also known for its gorgeous Baroque architecture. And Muzz, it's also been the inspiration for many a romantic writer. Oh, so let's get hot and heavy in Heidelberg. <laughs> Heidelberg oozes romance, from its iconic bridge to its quaint cafes, bustling streets and a mass of red roofs and steeples, it's sure to capture your heart. Still, if that doesn't get you, its castle certainly will. Perched high on a slope 80 metres above town, the Heidelberg Castle still reigns supreme after 800 plus years and multiple renovations. So Thomas, this castle bears the scars of a fairly rugged past, it looks like. Yes, indeed it does. Um, from being struck by lightning to being blown up by the French to then being hit by lightning again, this castle went through many different transformations and also shows the hands of various different architects and builders and styles of all the times it went through. It certainly and does. who is its most famous resident? Uh, that would be Frederick V. Um, he uh, lived in the beginning of the 17th century and famously married Elizabeth Stuart, daughter of James I. And these two were very much in love, so much in love that Frederick V actually changed the whole castle just for her. So for, by, from getting rid of all the cannons to adding beautiful gates, fountains, gardens. He was a lover, not a fighter. And uh, Yeah, he really was. 